Oh, that is the upside of hurting yourself if you are in water or doing whatever. Hi, Tap. Hey, how's it going, Sarah? Hi, Tap. Lots of water yesterday and maybe some today. Yeah, well, some places have picked up some heavy amounts of rain today. Take a look at Wilberts. has picked up 1.33 inches of rainfall, and you notice several locations have picked up over an inch of rain through today. You fall has picked up an inch and a quarter. Weber's Falls about 1.2 inches, just over an inch at McAllister. Also at Haskell Bixby, southern sides of the metro, about nine tenths of an inch of rainfall. Officially here in Tulsa out at the airport, we picked up about four tenths of an inch of rainfall. So once again, heavy amounts of rain falling across parts of the area. So far for the year, we've picked up just shy of 28 inches of rain officially here in the Tulsa area. The average through today is about 21.7. So you notice we're still running about six inches above average. When you compare what we've seen so far this year to last year at this time, we'd only picked up a little over 15 inches of rain. We were running some six and a half inches behind in terms of our rainfall at the same time last year. So what a difference a year makes as we picked up nearly 13 inches more rainfall so far this year than what we saw at this time in 2016. And we're seeing more showers and thunderstorms out there this afternoon and evening, mainly off to our east. That's where we're seeing some of the heaviest rainfall. You notice from Little Rock over toward the Memphis area, some of the stronger thunderstorms actually had a tornado warning just northeast of the Little Rock area a couple hours ago. So the strongest activity is well to our east, but you notice back in areas of southwestern Missouri, northwestern Arkansas, and into parts of southeast Kansas and far northeast Oklahoma, we're still seeing showers and isolated thunderstorms at this time right up around the Welch area in far northeast Oklahoma around Miami down toward Grove and Jay in the Grand Lake area back towards Bartlesville. That's where we're seeing some light to moderate rain, maybe a couple of lightning strikes as we move up into far northeast Oklahoma, but most areas here of eastern Oklahoma are not seeing any rainfall at this time. Now as we move through the rest of the evening into the overnight, there will be a chance we could see a few strong to isolated severe storms mainly across far southern Oklahoma where we have a marginal risk for severe weather later on tonight. So if you have any travel plans, just say south of the McAllister area down towards Ardmore or into North Texas. That's where we could see one or two strong to severe storms later on tonight. But you know, most of eastern Oklahoma, we don't expect any severe weather of any kind through the overnight hours. 83 degrees right now here in the city. Partly cloudy skies. It's warm, a little on the muggy side with that northwest wind currently at 9 miles per hour. Temperatures in the metro running mid 80s. Most areas 85 in Sand Springs, 84 in Sepulpa, 85 downtown. And you notice on the eastern sides of the metro, for the most part, low to mid 80s. So we are seeing warm conditions out there, but again, about 10 degrees below the average high for this time of the year. Where we're seeing the heaviest of the rainfall, southeast Kansas, far northeast Oklahoma. Temperatures only in the mid 70s at this time. As you move back towards Tulsa and back into central sections of the state, temperatures warm as we haven't seen much in the way of any rainfall through the afternoon. 89 in Stillwater, and we're currently setting at 90 degrees out in Garfield County around Enid and Kremlin. As we take a look at future track, as we move through the rest of the evening hours, a lot of folks interested in our rain chances as we move through the evening hours to shoot off those fireworks. Looks like the highest opportunity of seeing showers and some thunderstorms far southeastern Kansas into extreme northeastern Oklahoma. So anywhere from around Bartlesville to prior to Tahlequah northeast, that's the highest chance of seeing some thunderstorm activity through the evening hours. That chance running at about 30 to 40 percent, only a 20 percent chance for an isolated shower here in the Tulsa area and points down to the south and southwest. As we move through the overnight, we're going to watch some thunderstorm activity, which is currently developing out in the Texas Panhandle, dropping to the southeast. It looks like it's mainly going to impact parts of western and southwestern south central Oklahoma later on tonight during the morning hours. Could see some of this activity making it into parts of central Oklahoma and then eventually into parts of southeast Oklahoma. So a higher chance for rain and thunderstorms south of Interstate 40 for tonight. And north of I-40, chance of rain pretty slim, only at about 20% through the overnight hours. Here's a look at those rain chances. About a 60% chance of McAllister and Poto. Highest chances across southeast Oklahoma. Also far northeast sections of the state. Here in Tulsa and Bartlesville, only a 20% chance of a shower storm tonight with lows generally in the 60s. And then for tomorrow, 20% chance of showers, otherwise partly cloudy with highs generally in the upper 80s, so a little bit warmer for tomorrow. We'll see 91 on Tuesday, partly cloudy skies, 93 on Friday. Then wouldn't you know it, Sharers, and move on into the weekend. We have to add those chances of rain right back in. Slightly cooler by Sunday, highs upper 80s, so warm and muggy with off and on rain chances through the next seven days. Well, it would not be a weekend without chances of rain now, would it? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> what would we do with ourselves? Exactly.